the workshop and um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, concentration camps, former concentration camps in Germany, uh, teaching kids about the uh, Second World War, about the Holocaust, about all, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and yeah, like I said, there were lots of workshops at school, uh, the building, bomb rush the building in Groningen. And that's all we've been doing. What would you say is the biggest difference from your time in uh, Poland, hip hop, and now in 2005? Uh, I think it's um, the difference is it's a new generation, or maybe two new generations. Um, and uh, what it is is that. Um, uh, it's, it's so much more, it looks bigger, it looks bigger nowadays. Uh, back in the time when, when uh, we started with hip hop, we had like two TV, uh, local TV centers in Holland, uh, Dutch Television 1 and Dutch Television 2, uh, but now we got the whole world. We got a satellite where you can, you can find hip hop anywhere, in every corner of the world, in every corner of Europe, that's important. Any kid who buys a computer nowadays make their beats, record their music. Yeah. How do you think that affects the scene? Uh, it makes the scene better, it makes the scene stronger. Because the more people that are busy with something, uh, that means you got loads of people that are not good, but you got loads of people that evolve, and they get better and better and better. They learn new tricks, do new stuff, and new doesn't always mean bad. On the contrary, new mostly means better. So you're an old school group making a new album. Yeah. Is the sound going to change with the new generation? Or are you going to keep the old boom bap style and say? Well, the thing is, actually this is our first album. This is going to be our first album, Appointment with the Underground. We had a mini, mini album, an EP, in 95. And we were lots of uh, uh, compilation albums. This is going to be our first album. The sound of Zombie Squad has changed so many times, uh, but it's always a specific European underground sound. Uh, no matter what style it is, it's all about the energy. It's about what is in here. That's hip hop. It's what about what is what's in here. And um, so I wouldn't say the sound has changed. Uh, not to the new generation. It's a sound that is maybe a zombie squad sound. It's not specifically only zombie squad. You got like people like Tommy T. You got people like Luke Crew. You got people like uh, all over the world, like Living Legends, Mr. Dream, and stuff like that. They all have a specific sound uh, that you might call an underground sound. And uh, you might call it, we like to call it, it for our sake, a zombie squad sound. But it's a European sound. The Mystic Journeyman, they might be from Oakland, but it been so many times and for so long in Europe that they got this specific European underground sound. Any final messages about Zombie Squad to the scene? Yeah. Hip hop scene, wherever you are, remember this. You might have thought that we were away, but fuck that. We've been sleeping, eating, drinking, fucking, pissing, teaching, a lot of teaching. A lot of your children got thought by us at school. And lots of other people in Holland do that. We teach at schools. We're not talking about hip hop should be like this and hip hop should be like this. What we're telling them about how it was in comparison to how it is now. And more, more that, it goes about uh, the, the community. Not only the hip hop community, but the complete community. For instance, in your country. Country. For our sake, in Holland's in, in the Dutch country, the way it is now, it's different. We need to teach people. They need to go out, teach the politicians. They need to go out and vote and determine your own future. The youth determines the future, not the older ones. Hey, Zombie Squad, represent. This is www.zombiesquad.com. Appointment with the Underground in stores, 31st of October, 2005. Peace, my brother.
think that's why I don't think you